The Powerhawk Rescue Tool power sources may include Powerhawk power packs, such as the PWR3X12, direct 12 volt DC system hookup, other 12 volt DC batteries or battery packs, and 12 volt DC generators or power supplies. The PWR3X12 power pack is a vented portable battery pack that utilizes a 33 amp hour valve regulated lead acid battery. The power pack comes equipped with two red power outlet plugs which can provide power to two devices simultaneously, including the controller unit for rescue tool operation or other accessories. In addition, a cigarette lighter style power port is included to power auxiliary equipment. A charge indicator and test button are provided so that the user can visually check the charge state of the internal battery. The power pack also includes a battery charger port for connection to the required battery charger. Note the charge condition of the battery by depressing the test button located on the front of the unit. A fully charged battery is indicated by all five LEDs illuminated. As the charge on the battery is depleted, fewer LEDs will illuminate, indicating reduced battery capacity. It is important to note that the LED indicator will show the proper voltage level only when the battery is in its settled state. It will not indicate accurate state of charge during recharging or during operation of the rescue tool. For greater portability, attach the controller unit to the power pack using the straps provided. The button feet on the back of the unit will sit into the depression around the power pack's product label. Keep the straps on the inside of the control unit hinges. Supply power to the controller unit by connecting the short pigtail cable from the power pack to the red connector labeled 12 volt power input. The red plugs will snap into place when properly connected. Power may also be supplied to the rescue tool from any available 12 volt automotive battery by using the JC4-16 jumper cables. Simply connect the jumper cables to the corresponding battery terminals and connect the red plug on the jumper cables to the controller unit via the red plug labeled 12 volt power input. Make sure the polarity connections on the auxiliary battery are correct. Red clamp to the positive battery terminal and the black clamp to the negative battery terminal. The VH4-4 vehicle harness kit and the EC4-16 extension cable are used to supply auxiliary power on scene without even opening the hood of the vehicle. By mounting the red plug of the harness kit to the vehicle in an accessible exterior location and then routing and connecting the cables to the appropriate battery terminals, auxiliary power can be obtained quickly by then connecting the extension cable from the vehicle to the controller unit. Be sure to keep all protective caps snapped in place when the tool is not in use. This video has been created as a supplement to the Powerhawk P16 Rescue System and Power Pusher Owner Operation and Maintenance Manual.